Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? It's Woody back here in the video. You guys already know what we're doing. We're around into this. No explanation needed. I just stimulated the season because you guys know start today's broken. I don't know. I'm not rebuilding them for no specific reason. I just saw them last night. I saw them lose, and I'm like, this team easily could have won this series. So I want to go rebuild them. I want. I mean, hey, I want to go rebuild them. I'm like that. But you guys, let me know if you guys want me to start rebuilding all the teams that get eliminated. I might even go back and start doing a couple of the ones that already got eliminated. Uh, but let me know. Hey, just let me know what what y'all want to see. I I'll be making my own content sometimes <laughs> if we're being honest with each other. We got the fifteenth overall. We are gonna keep Chris here. You don't want to know why I'm gonna keep Chris? Cause he has guts. He saw D'Angelo Russell was playing like a two pack of trash, and he benched him last night. And that's what I need to see. Speaking of D'Angelo Russell, he's on last year's contract. Played his last year in Minnesota. All right. So going into this, I had two guys I really wanted to get. It would have been three, but Russ, 2K's just completely messed up for us, and he's not good at all anymore. I really want to get either John Wall or Ricky Rubio, right? And you guys can see the, the common theme there is the defensive guard that can play make a little bit, right? Even John Wall's not like a clamp guy no more, but he's, he's, he's still got it on defense. And John Wall can even score a little bit more, so that's that would be an interesting little wrinkle, but Ricky Rubio would be much cheaper. But I am going to shop D'Angelo Russell, see what this in the 15th pick can get us on the market. So I'm looking for either a point guard or a small forward. I could start Monte Morris and I have Ricky Rubio off the bench. But I don't really want Aaron Gordon. That's the only reason I wouldn't do that. Fred Van Vliet. Okay, so just looking around here, I'm not seeing much. So I think what we will have to do is to go build our own trade. <laughs> okay, so selling. Who's someone here I would like? Dame would be very interesting, actually. Hold on. Yeah, bring Dame. Leave him there. That's, that's somebody you give up picks to go get. Rogier. I like Rogier's game. I do. Dame is somebody I'm interested in. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, so we'll give you D-Lo. How much more we need? Three more million. We'll give you a young guy. About okay, you only one and a half star. How much is Jalen? He's two. Uh, oh, here we go this way. No Ant, not Beasley. Uh, McGla. Eh. We'll give you fifteen. Okay, so we're in the conversation at least. And then our pick in twenty twenty four and twenty twenty six. Twenty twenty six, right here. That's, this is really about as much as I can do. I'm not giving them four first rounders. That's whoa, not cat either. Uh, would you guys want? Yeah, would you guys want him? Hold on. Obviously not. But then with 15, and then with 2024, and then 2026 last. Oh, of course he had a good year last year too. Let's toss him in. For the sake of Dame, it would be worth it. And then 2026. Okay, so that was a lot. But we did just acquire Damian Lillard. So, I mean, you're, you're going to give up a lot to get Damian Lillard. So, I'm not even upset. So, that final trade was Dame for D'Lo, Bamaro, three first, and then Malik Beasley. But one of the firsts is this year. So, really, it's two future first. Beasley. Yeah, it's not bad. D'Lo's an expiring contract. Bamaro's unproven. So Malik Beasley, I mean, that's the really valuable piece that we gave them. And then the picks, obviously. But So we have seconds. I'm going to try to draft somebody good with one of these seconds. No, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. I almost skipped it. I really want to get a young point guard. That's what I really want to get. Like a Drogic. Oh, what the? Who's his power forward? He's a good rebounder, plays a little bit of defense. You're like a defensive small forward who can't shoot. It sounds like, what? Wasn't that what Jared Culver was supposed to be? No, Josh Akogi. That's what Josh Akogi is supposed to be. You're, you're 22. Otherwise, I would like to bring him in. He can shoot. He's great get, getting steals. We'll bring him in. We want him. He's a 74. Ooh, whoa. Kelvin. Wait, this was the guy who can't. Yeah, this is a guy that couldn't shoot. We're supposed to be a good defender, right? That's the guy we just saw. I'm bringing in Frederick, though. Reed and Noel. You guys are both staying. Qualifying offers. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care, but I would like to bring you back, if that makes sense. Patrick Beverly, I do want to resign, but I mean that's about it. And there is Ricky Rubio. So okay, we need a backup small for too. Though who's there? Pat Connington. Okay, so I could get Pat Connington because I can bring back P. Bev confirmed. Like that's that's here. Let's do it real quick. 
Well, no, he doesn't have any offers. We can get him in a second. The only thing is Schroeder's a slightly better shooter. Slightly. Kendrick Nunn's a better shooter, but he's not the playmaker. D'Anthony Melton got the whole package. I mean, he's not really a playmaker, but he got the defense that would be great to put behind Dame. I kind of want to get D'Anthony Melton now. I didn't realize he was going to be here. And we don't need as much playmaking. Cause now we have Dame and Ant. Wait, they waived him? Hold on. Hold on. The Grizzlies waived him? Wow. Why would you wave D'Anthony Melton? Also, because we brought back P-Bev. We don't have the money for him. That sucks, but it's okay. Bring back Rocco. I think we need like a, like a wing defender like Batum, though. Gary Harris on cheap money would be so cool. Here, yeah. Go do that. Bring in Gary. Gary Payton's still achievable. We still do have Prince down here. I think we do give him a two-year deal. Well, no, 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 no. I think I'd rather Payton if I can't hear decline for now. Oh, I can do both. I didn't know if I could do both, and I was like, I'd rather have Gary Payton on this team. Okay, so one of them would rather be a small forward. I think I'll probably put Gary there. We're, we're really small. I just realized this. <laughs> we're, like, very small. And then one of you can be a, a small forward. You go 76. You go down a little bit. So, yeah, we'll put Rocco there. And then we need a center. It's a backup five. A third string is cool. Cleaver? Cleaver's interesting. Damian Jones is interesting. Wait, do we have... No, we need rim protection, though. Yeah, we'll go ahead and bring in Damian Jones. Yeah, just a one-year minimum. Nothing special. Okay, so Dame goes down a little bit. Cat does. Ant jumps up. Okay, P-Bev kind of falls off a little bit. Okay, then we got our no. No, no, no. You guys know... If you've been around before, you know what we do. Free throw camp always. Perimeter defense is needed, though, for Ant. I like that. Try to get him better defensively because he's already 6'4", so we need him to be better on defense as a small forward. I need a lot of those minutes, too. We need more Ant minutes and more Cat minutes. Okay, so that's our rotation to go into the season. Okay, so we're nearing deadline. We're seven games over 500. Our guys are cooking, though. Dang put up 26 and 6, almost 50 40. 23, 10, and 6, cooking. 23, 4, and 4. Like, like we're, we're hitting all cylinders. What's happening is our role players are kind of choking. Where's Gary? Gary's not doing the best. And McLaughlin, he wasn't doing good. Oh, he got better. He was he was shooting awful for like 25% of the season. Jackson Hayes would be interesting because we still stay young. I like that. Potal's so good, though, but we have to pay him literally next season. Which, let me see. You have to get paid next year. Dwight has to get paid next year. Hayes has to get paid next year. Okay, so we have a bunch of people who have to get paid. Then give me Jackson Hayes, though. I don't know. I like his athleticism, his length. But I really want a little bit more rim protection. Like, he gives that. I even saw your Savin and uh, Looney here. Looney's good as a rebounder. Yeah, I just looked at him. Who's the other guy? Trez, no thanks. But Podol's good defensively around the rim. I think he's going to want a bag next year. I don't want to pay him a bag to be a backup center. We're going to go with him. We're, we're, we're going to do it. We're getting the first round pick in exchange as well. So it's a W all the way around in my book. He goes down slightly, but that's fine with me. And I'm thinking uh, he's up to 35%. He's not, he's not doing the best. not doing awful. We'll keep them for now, though. I mean, I'm thinking, yeah, P-Bev. i go get Mitchell Robinson. <laughs> wow, I should have went this way first. Taylor, yeah, no. I'm looking for like a defensive guard. Grayson Allen would make sense, but he's not having a good year. Thibel, I'm cool with it. And then we get, but I don't really want Quirk Maz as my, he, he could be a trade item for next season if he doesn't do good. So yeah, we're going to go here and we're going to put Matisse in the starting role. We're going to let Jalen Owell get some crack. Let me, let me get a little bit of burn, see how we look. Okay, yeah, I like that starting five better. I think that's better than the starting five we just had. So we have a help with perimeter defense. We have more rim protection. We're about to get Prince in the rotation and Noel. Harris is good. And here, you. Oh, yeah, because we have him in the rotation already. Okay. And then I'll go sign one guy, I'm thinking. We're all waiting to see what we need first. Well, guys, as you guys can see, we have won every game except for our first two since the trade. So, I mean, I think we're vibing here. I don't, I'm not sure we need anything else. How's Noel doing? Not the greatest. We're going to keep him, though. But I'm not sure he's going to stay in the rotation. Let's see. Who's who's out here? Juan Toscano. Wait, Batum can come in? Oh, we could go get Bateka Batum. Clark is cool. We don't need another big man. So right now, I'm between Bembry, Juan, Batum. 
Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm, I'm between right now. And Batum would bring some defense and some. Yeah, I think we're bringing Batum. And plus, he's so versatile. Like we can make him a shooting guard, small forward, or a power forward, and he'll be good at every single position. So like, if, if Noel starts slumping, I could put Gary Harris back at the two, and then I could go put him at the three or put Batum at the two. It doesn't matter. So many different things we could do with him. All right, and as we finish up the season, we got a 53. 53 win year. Luca is your MVP. We had the defensive player of the year. Come on. Come on, man. I traded for the Depoy midseason. Come on. Like, I'm just I'm too good at this. We almost had the best record. We were four games off. Uh, Dame should be up here. Yeah, he made third team. Was that Cat? There's no Cat. Let's go over and look at team stats real quick. You guys already know the vibes. Come on, man. No, wait. Player stats. Is that? Yeah, okay. Dame averaged 20. Eight and seven. 50 40, almost 90. Ant 25, 4 and 4. We're rounding today. I don't care. 23, 10 and 6. 50 40, 80 for Cat. The scoring fall off was kind of huge, though. Sheesh. Okay. That's kind of scary. 320, <laughs> 320 plus guys, and then some nines and sevens. But nine and five in the blocker game. Seven, and then he was shooting. He was shooting pretty good. And he kind of clamps up on defense. That's why we had him here. Seven, he shot 41% from three, six points per game. He didn't do that well, so he got booted for Batum midway. And Batum ended up shooting 34%. Did kind of good defensively. Could play make a, just, just a hair, just a little bit. Um, a little bit of playmaking here. And he shot decently. Not not the greatest, but not the worst. And then well, here's our deep boy. That was your four points per game. But, hey, he got the clamps. That's why we brought him in. Yeah, these guys never never really played. But we're the first seed, as you could guess. We're going against Lake Show in the first game. Who the guy out here in Lakerland? Austin Reeves is a starter. And they have Jabari Parker in here as well. Cat, please don't get sunned by AD. I'm begging you, Cat. Yeah, okay, here we go. We came back in one. Dang, put up 30. Cat, that's not... Oh, my goodness. Okay, Taylor Horton Tucker went off on us. Come on, y'all. Braun, hey, look. Yeah, Matisse had Braun in prison, though. Hold on. Six for 18. Oh, okay. Gary Harris hit three. Okay, yeah, we're doing good. Come on, next game. Next game. Okay, so they run off on the lead with us once again. And we tried to come back, but it was too little too late. Dame struggled this game. AD cooked this game. Russ cooked. Braun's still getting clamped up. He's in solitary confinement, but everyone else is hooping around him. That's the problem. There we go. Okay, so we bounce back for game three. We're up 2-1 now. Cat 33 and hit. Yeah, this is the game we need from you, Cat. This is the game we need. 21-9. This is how our stats should look every night. This, this is exactly how it should look every night. I'm cool with Dame getting the third amount of points. I'm fine with that. He should look, 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 he's just a hooper. I got him on a minimum. All right, we're battling back and forth, and and we win in overtime behind a 42-point game for Cat. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. And you outplayed AD, hit 20. Oh, look at that. And you clamped him up. That's how we do it. That is how we do it. And Braun, yeah, we don't care about these games. <laughs> we don't talk about games that supports Matisse Thibel's depoy conversation. That's on. Ooh, go home. Lakers already in Cancun. See you later. AD. Yeah, AD took it personal. AD, AD was trying to AD was trying to outscore Cat so bad. Eleven for thirty-one. He shot thirty-nine percent. Wow. AD, this is the first time he's ever choked. And then Dame had a stinker, but we still came out. So hey, what does that tell you? I mean, our our top two guys went what thirteen for twenty-three from three. So, I mean, yeah. But we won a game with Dame going three for sixteen. So that's a W. We have a rematch. Are they any different? They are not. They ran it back. They ran it back. We got to win this. We got to win this for for Minnesota. Did we just blow a lead? Oh, come on, 2K. We're being we're being a little too realistic. We just blew a <laughs> we just blew a lead, man. Come on, we blew a 14 point. No, it's a 17 point lead. Wow. I will put. I must say, I'll put Matisse on a uh, jaw if I need to. I don't even care. I will put Matisse on jaw. Well, no wonder we're losing games. What? What? Tyro Terry's not even missing. What is this? Okay. Come on, y'all. Come on. So it's tied up 1-1 one, one right now. We're down 2-1. Who's cooking? I'm about to say put him on Jaw, but Jaw's not even going crazy. I need to put him on, on Tyrell Terry. That's who he needs to be guarding. 
What is that? Yeah, Dylan Brooks is getting put in a prison cell, though. Dame, you're still not playing the best, though. Come on, like this is, we got a legacy series here. Like you, we you have the talent next to you. You need to get past these people. All right, so we're tied at two up. Still not good. Where's Cat? Okay, oh yeah, that's a good game. Jackson Hayes kind of popped off on this game too. Okay, here we go. It's the pivotal game five, and we come out on top by twenty five. Dame decided to come show up. Yeah, he said it's it's time. It's time. Start pointing at that wrist. He said it's time. Come on, close them out. Close them out. We're up 3-2. We're going to game seven. We're going to game seven. Cat. Why would you foul out, Cat? This is so realistic. <laughs> why would you foul out, Cat? Like, why would you do this? Almost want to start Gary Harris, if we're being honest, but I'm not going to. We, we made it here this far with how we are. He's not playing well, though, so we're going to get rid of his minutes in the rotation. Yeah, yeah, sure. You're doing okay. You're doing good. Prince is Prince our Lord and Savior. <laughs> is okay, so here we're going 36, 38, 36. Okay. And then a couple more minutes to our bench, guys. Everyone can get one more minute. Oh man, this is everything on the line. Everything on come on. Oh no. Come on. Come on. We lost. Come on. Da okay, Dame did good. I'm not gonna say Dame. Why did we do bad? No, we lost by four. Wow. Okay, 41. So Ja just he turned it up in a game seven. Wow. Okay. So I guess Memphis just owns us. <laughs> the good news is, though, well, I mean, we, we lost in seven to the champs. So we literally would have won a championship this year. But the good news is we still have a first round pick this year. Because I gave them the 2024 pick for, for Dame. We st still have our 2023. So what is this? 28. Oh, yeah, because we were a really good team. I just, I blanked that. Wow. I think we're going to do this deal for Otto Porter. We're going to bring Otto Porter Jr. And then we're going to first next year, too. So we're still holding on to something. And believe it or not, I'm cool with Gary Harris. He shot 39% from three, and he was pretty good all season. So we're going to keep him. Frederick, we can keep you. I'm fine with that. I'm good. And obviously, the, those top two we're going to keep. So what do I really need? A shooting guard. I really want to go get a good DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo will be very helpful. I think I will. Yes. DiVincenzo, three-year deal. Uh, we'll do a four-year deal, 40-ish. That's cool with you. Okay. And then we need to bring in Jackson Hayes. Team option on the last year and a little bit less. So it's really a two-year deal. And then team option on the third year if he's not doing that well. Like Bimbury, sure. Oh, Noel. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do a sign and trade. So we're going to sign Noel, but we're going to trade him. I think I'm going to do this. We're getting a future pick for him in return who hasn't looked the best in uh, the G League. So I'm like, man. And then we're sign trading him away too. And I think Caruso could actually play small forward. And the reason why I'm I'm thinking about this is he's six five. I mean, that's not awful. He's six five. He can hit open threes and he clamps up. Ant jumps up. Dame keeps falling. Guys are getting better. Thibault kind of falls off a little bit. I changed his position though. Caruso took a leap off. Wow. Okay. I got played. Gary Harris fell off too. Make your free throws, kids. And then what about some combo guard for Ant? Get his playmaking up a little bit. All right, so we got Dame, DiVincenzo, Ant. No, we're still starting Vanderbilt. We got small forward center, shooting guard, point guard. Okay. I don't hate this. And then we got, like, a bunch of, like, defensive guys off the bench. All right, so here we are sitting two weeks in front of the deadline. We're sitting at 35 and 12. The guys are going crazy. Ant putting up 27. Dame's putting up 28. Cat's putting up 23, 9, and 5. Like, we're doing everything we need to do. Like, Daniels are playing better. Like, literally just, like, three weeks ago. He was shooting, like, I think 17% from three. So, he's starting to pick it up. Otto Porter Jr. was going bananas. He's, he's cooled down, too. Okay. He was shooting, like, 45% from three. Like I said, when I checked a couple weeks ago. Okay, so we're going to try this out. Caruso for you. And then Batum uh, for you. We have an open roster spot still. So, we can still go sign somebody. But we're not even going to really need much, it looks like. Put Caruso in, and he somehow shot worse than McLaughlin was. So, okay. And not you, Batum. Batum's doing all right, though. So, yeah, we're going to leave him. But I'm going to put Jordan back. Like a small forward or a point guard. It doesn't matter, really. DeLon Wright. I like DeLon Wright, actually. Yeah, I think I'm going to go get DeLon Wright. Yep, works for me. And as we cross the finish line, 58. 58 wins. LaMelo's your MVP, though. I need, I need to see the Dame. So, we're one game off the top seat now. We need to see Dame get love. 
Okay, Dame's second team now, though. Put up 28 and 7. Yeah, Cat made third team. Okay, Ant should have made something, though. Ant was the best player on this team, if we're being honest with each other. Give us Memphis. Yeah, give us Memphis. We want this. We're going to, we're, I want to sweep. You understand? I just want to sweep. They, they did an upgrade, though. They went and got Potal and maybe not sweep. I want to win in six. <laughs> Maybe not sweep. I'm not, I'm not going game by game. 1-1, one, 2-1, one, 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 three, one. We don't blow those. 4-1. Thank you. Get out of here, Memphis. Go home. All right. They got Kuz and Drummond here with DeJounte. That's not a bad team. We should beat them, though. 1-0, 2-0, 3-2-1, 3-1. We don't blow those. 4-1. We're going against ooh, Dallas. Okay. Luka is just so just disgusting in this game, though. Like That's why it's like every time you run to Dallas or New Orleans, they're just, they're so cracked. One on, two on, three one. Four one. That wasn't a problem for us, though. We're going up against the Celtics. They got Peyton Pritchard at point guard. Dame, go to work. Okay, like, this call ISOs. We got Spencer Curry. I'm not comfortable about our defense on the Jays. I'm not, I'm not feeling very confident about this at all. I mean, we do have Matisse off the bench. That should help. Oh, man. Okay, Dame, don't let us down. Okay, game one. We win game one. Dame, yes. Yeah, that's what we need. Dame, go go cook. Go cook. Where is he at? Yeah, he's, oh, yeah, he's not even playing good either. It's your first finals. You, you got to make your legacy here. We're up two zip, 27 and 10 in game two and 37 for Ant. Okay, now we're on the home court. Come on, complete the sweep so we can win at home. Come on, of course we give it up a game. Okay, 37 again from Ant. He's hooping. Cat, how have you been? Oh, he's, he's been good. Never mind. That was just one bad game. Come on. Here we go. Here, no, 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 no. Oh, it's tied up. No. No. Come on. Come on, y'all. Get it together. Okay, we need to have a players-only meeting, whatever you need to do. Get it together. We lost. We lost. We're going to, we're going to game six. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who's bad? You're playing okay. You can stay. You're playing good. Alaport Jr., you're still shooting the, the lights out of that pill. Oh, man. I, I wanted you for your defense, man, but we, just, we can't do it no more. Like, he's going crazy. Load load up on our, our, our big guys, and then he'll give you a couple more minutes. Oh, man. Come on. We went too far for this. We went too far to lose here. Man, come on, Dame. Come on. No. <laughs> Why? Why? We were right here. Oh, my. Everything was lined up perfectly. Tatum got finals MVP. Oh, my. Okay, one more year. This is the year we don't have our pick. They have our pick, the Trailblazers, but it was the 29th anyway, so I'm, I don't care. But we have a pick that we traded for last year, and that's the ninth. Bring in a scorer. I was talking about Terry Rozier. I was talking about bringing in Terry Rozier. I think we're going to do it. That's a, that's a pretty decent third-string point guard. He's not efficient, but, I mean, hey. We're bringing in more scoring because Dame's falling off. We're going to keep Chris. He took us to the finals. I'm going to keep Caruso as a trade piece. I don't want to actually keep him. We have to pay so many people. Okay. Dame, he's probably going to be like an 86 or 85 next year. Gary Payton. And he played really good last year. Outside. Yeah, we're bringing him back again. <laughs> back again. Because Cat's an unrestricted free agent, isn't he? He is. Okay. And he has offers he likes. We're going to have to pay up for Cap. We have to. No trade clause. Player option. The works. I completely forgot. I was about to sim through this, and we were going to lose out on Cap. They're, these are restricted guys, so we're good. Porter, we are 100% bringing back. Player option on next year. Vandy, we're 100%. He doesn't want to come back? No. Whiteside, Lynn. I'm, hey, let's just keep bringing him. <laughs> He's good luck. Stanley Johnson? Because you're kind of falling off. You weren't good last year. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Give me Stanley. Okay, that is a blunder on my end. We're going we're gonna to just put uh, Otto Porter Jr. there. We're going to pretend it never happened. <laughs> Wait, I did. I kept Caruso. This is perfect. We can go get Vanderbilt. It's that simple. Should we just go pay to go get him? Yeah, we're not letting you go. So we fumbled the bag, but we, and we had to pay for it, but I'm okay with it. Okay, so we have free throw. And then combo guard again for Ant. Okay, so this is what we're looking at going into year two. I want to add DiVincenzo in here, and then I want Peyton. Why well, have so many small forwards playing? Okay, okay, so this is the rotation. 
Then we have Rozier in here too as an like off the bench scorer. It's gonna be our off brand D'Lo. We win for game one. We win game two. See how it goes. All right, y'all. Two weeks off of the deadline. We're sitting at twenty nine and eighteen. Dame has kind of fell off a little bit, but not not really fell off. But he's not what he used to be. But it's because Ant is still growing, and we got Cat. He, a little bit worse stats. Not bad though. Everyone's doing pretty solid actually. That's so I'm like. I kind of want to make a trade. We're not that good. But also, I mean, we could trade Gary Payton. Oh, we could trade those two. Let's do that then. Two. Ooh. Ooh, he's not playing well, though. Do we take a chance on a guy not playing well? I can make Ant a shooting guard. Let's do it. You know what? We're going to freaking do it. It's the last year. We're going to try to maximize this window. So now we have the best backcourt in the league. Because you can play the one, too. So it doesn't matter. Okay. And then Stone hopefully plays better. Otherwise, we can put in Jordan again. But yeah, we're going to see how it looks over the next couple weeks. Okay, so as you guys can see, we're like, what, 5-2 and two since the trade. Is he shooting any better? He was at 29. So yeah, no, not really any better. <laughs> He's still shooting pretty god-awful. I do want to get rid of Dean Wade, though. We're not, we don't have any need for him. Bring back Gary? We're bringing back P-Bev. He's the heart. He's the culture. We want to win with P-Bev here. Come on. At one point, I was 9-7. and seven. And then since then, what? We got to wait for the final number now. We were nine and seven, so now we then we went on a forty-seven to nineteen streak. So so yeah, so then we started nine and seven, and then we went forty-seven and nineteen over the rest of the season. That's pretty good to me, if we're being honest. This Celtics team is so good though. We're not gonna win a championship because of them, and that's annoying. Like I'm not even there yet, and I'm assuming that's what's gonna happen. Hopefully, it doesn't age poorly, and we get like swept in the first round or something. We're gonna be against uh, Shea. They got Josh Giddy. Cool. Should be a sweep. 1-0, 2-0, 2 Come on. Why can't we never have just a regular series? Yeah, we ended up leaving Otto in there. He was doing better, so we left him. Scary Terry's cooking. Who's not doing good? Dame's not doing the best. Ant's doing okay. Cat, Cat's backpacking right now. Can we get Cat some help? Okay, we're up 3-2. Come on, please. Okay. Going against the Spurs now. We played them last year. They had Kuz, if I remember correctly. And they did not have Siakam, or he was not healthy. So, let's see how it looks now. 1-1, 2-1, 2-1, one We don't blow those. 4-1, thank you. Against the Pelicans now. Okay, Vanderbilt. We're asking a lot from you, but we need you to put Zion in his place. 1-0, one, 2-1. Oh, one. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. Okay, let's breathe. No, we're going to game seven. Going to game seven. Um, Porter, are you, are you you're falling off now because you're tired? Cam, how are you doing? Cam's hooping. Go, Cam. It's your time. It is your time, Cam. I don't even. Oh, look, he's doing good. Hey, yeah, so we, we can leave him in here. McDaniel's, you're doing good. He's doing good. Rojdi, are you still doing good? You're still doing good. Hayes, yes. Oh, what about my starters? Well, yeah, Dame. Those guys aren't moving. I just put you in here. Yeah, okay. We're going to war like this. One sec, though. No. We're going to boost their minutes. Please. We're going to, okay, Celtics are in the finals. Come on. Come on. We can win if we get there. Okay, okay, we made it. We made it to the finals. Okay. Oh, it's the rematch. Right? They're about the same. I still got Pritchard at point guard. Come on. Please. No, no, no. They came out a quick 2-0. That was scary. That was very scary. We tied it back. We tied it up. Cat is eating. Yeah, he he can't guard you. Okay, Robert Williams cannot guard you. I mean, he probably can, but we got to tell him he can't. We got we to gotta pump up our man. <laughs> okay, we're down 3-2. What, what do we do here? We're going to go let Rozier get his revenge. That's what we're going to do. We have to win these next two games. Come on. I, already, like, I said this before it even started. I said we're not going to win because of the Celtics. <laughs> Jason Tatum. Yeah, anyway, thank you all for taking time out today to see him watching me play my hoops, man. Hey, I hope you have a great rest of your day. It's your boy TT, and I am out. Peace.